Hey guys, so I'm back with a full face, full coverage, like, routine. This is just my go-to products and my go-to, like, steps that I take whenever I do my foundation and I want it to be full coverage and just, like, everything that I can think of to do to make sure it looks great and looks nice and smooth and flawless. So I start by cleansing my face with the uh, micellar water and then cleansing I'm um, cleansing moisturizing with uh, the argon oil by Josie Marin and then while that kind of settles into my skin I add some Tarte Shape Tape to my lids with some translucent powder I'm using airspun I've been using airspun for the past few weeks and I love it I've never used it before and it's so awesome I love how smooth it makes my under eyes look you'll see in a few minutes and then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty smoothing primer the Fenty foundation and the Maybelline uh, dewy smooth foundation I love mixing like a more matte foundation with a dewy foundation I just love the finish so I do this with a lot of my foundations when I need it to still look luminous because I do have dry skin, but I also don't want it to look cakey and, you know, matte. So I don't necessarily mix it together. I just dot both of them all over my face and then just bounce the little pure sponge all over and blend it out. I just do one layer and it looks really, really good just because I do use both of them. And I'm going to go in with light medium. No, light neutral in Tarte, Tarte Shape Tape this is a brand new one. This is like the perfect shade that I love to use. If I'm not going for like a super highlighted look, I just want it to look nice and covered, but not like exactly my skin tone. It's just like a tad lighter. And yeah, it's like crazy how different your under eyes look with concealer. But after this, I'm going to go in with the Fenty uh, Matchstick in Mocha to contour. I like literally cannot do my makeup without this thing anymore i just love how it looks underneath any like bronzer and it just makes contouring so much easier i just like bronze and contour at the same time so then i'm gonna go in with this little brush that i think it's like e16 or something like that and i love how it works for the sides of the nose it's really precise and then i'm gonna go ahead and bake just for a little bit i literally just like put the bake on and as soon as I'm done putting it wherever I need my makeup to stay put and not crease I like dust it right off so I go ahead and go around my mouth area and between my eyebrows under my eyes pretty much everywhere except for where I contoured and then I take it right off I don't want it to look cakey but it does help with the lasting power and for it to look nice and smooth and flawless and then I'm going to go in with the butter bronzer and just kind of bronze up just a little bit everywhere I put the matchstick earlier. And then I'm going to go in with Peaches Blush by MAC. And I or I don't know if that's Peaches or Gingerly, but either one, I use those all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just carve out my contour area just a little bit more to make it look a little more defined. And finally, I'm going to do some highlighting. I, I like to mix Forever Young and Glow Getter from the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia palette. And lastly is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I'm using the Rose Scented one. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I get tons of questions on the steps that I take to do my foundation, my contour. This is exactly how I do it every time. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.